tension is coming alive When I'm on vacay mode, be wandering every night To keep my mind from work, need to go chill by a fire Drink some martini and talk about life, ooh, doing my best to survive But I need more, mommy, I wish I could fly Back and back and go, I really, really don't mind Living right now, so about to get on a plane soon Don't care if it's to Mumbai or Cancun mm, As long as I'm high as a guy, hey. yeah, I'll be good What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Tuesday to you guys. I am in such a great mood today. I don't know what happened or what it is, but I woke up this morning. I got out of bed. I went and shot that footage that you saw at the beginning of the video. Then I came back. I took a shower. I'm all dressed and feeling all good today. And it's a beautiful day, as you guys saw. The, the skies are blue. I can see the clouds. Uh, it's, it's just a beautiful day today. And I am in such a great mood today. But before I get all into the meat and potatoes of this video, if there is some meat and potatoes in this video, <laughs> I just want to um, answer a Q&A question that got the most uh, asked about. And I did not answer that question on purpose because quite honestly I really didn't feel like hearing what people thought I should have done could have done why I didn't do this why I didn't do that I really didn't want to hear people's thoughts on it and that question is what did I do with the kit that I bought from <clears throat> Canada all right so the kit was part of my negotiations for what they gave me for the minivan. They came back and they gave me a price that this is what we're going to give you for the minivan. Then I didn't think that was a good price. So I negotiated and they gave me a couple more thousand dollars, which compensated me for the kit. And that is what I did with the kit. One thing that I want you guys to know about me right now, and I hope I don't have to say this again, I do not have the patience to sell stuff. I don't. I went through that whole thing when I left out of the apartment for the last time and I tried to sell some of the things that I had. People are something else. They tell you something, then they do something else. And it's just so nerve wracking to me. And as you guys know, in case you have forgotten, I have a very low tolerance for people. And I used to say that a lot on the channel. But then, you know, since I have this nice peaceful, non-stressful life now. <laughs> I haven't had, excuse me, I haven't had the need to mention that. But I have a low tolerance for people. People get on my nerves. I just, I, I love the situation that I'm in now. I love where I am right now, where I can be around people when I want to be around people. But that is what happened to the kit. The kit would not have fit in the uh, SUV is not made to go into an SUV. It's mini ma minivan made. So that is what I did with the kit. I negotiated uh, a couple thousand dollars for the uh, kit in addition to what they gave me for the minivan. That's why I waited to see what they were going to give me for the minivan. And then, I, like I said, I negotiated a couple extra thousand dollars for the kit. Now, had they not agreed and gave me uh some money for the kit i would have taken that kit out of there i don't know where i would have put it because i transferred everything from the minivan to the new van, new car on the parking lot of the uh, dealership so the the car was filled up to the guild i don't know where i would have put that kit i would have told them look sit this on the side till i go back and take all this out of here and then come back and get that or something like that. I would have worked it out where I would have gotten that kit. But it was just easier for me to try to 
negotiate. They can sell it as a camper van or do whatever they want to do with it. So that is what happened to the kit. And some people got upset. Or well, I ain't going to say some. I only saw one comment that got upset that I didn't answer that question in the Q&A because it was a most popular answer. And then I did answer it in a, a couple of individual comments. But anywho, let's move. Look. Let's move on past that. Let's move on past that. Let's move on past that. Because that was, what, back in March. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. We're still in March. That was early March. But anywho, today, 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 guys. Oh, look what I bought, y'all. Ta-da! I bought a 24 case of Insure high protein this was on sale this was like forty dollars it was on sale for 26 so i've been drinking two of these a day i'm so upset they need to come up with a, a box that have multiple uh flavors in it because this is vanilla and i like chocolate and strawberry equally and i had to stand sit there or rather stand there and try to decide any any miny moe to see which one i wanted and vanilla one They need to get somewhere it's like eight of the chocolates and eight of the vanilla, eight of the strawberry, and so forth, or, or something like that. Eight, eight, yeah, three. Three times eight is. Wait a minute. Oh my God, Anthony, can you count? Well, you know you was bad in math. <laughs> yes, three times eight is twenty-four. <laughs> All right, so one of the things that I'm going to try to remedy today is I'm going to go to Walmart and get me a folding chair. Um, I ordered a chair on Amazon, and they had delivery problems. That was like two or three days ago. I don't know whether what's going on. I'm going to have to call Amazon Logistics sometime today and figure out what's going on. But in the meantime, I don't even want the chair right now because if it hasn't been delivered here by now and I ordered that chair probably a week ago, it's probably not going to get here at this point. It's still saying on my Amazon order list that it had delivery problems and da 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 da. Anywho, I'm going to Walmart and I'm going to get me a folding chair. I figured since I have to put up a folding table to eat, I might as well put up a folding chair as well because as I have mentioned to you guys, the biggest issue I have with this trailer is this sofa. It is not very comfortable for sitting a long period of time. So therefore, I get an ache here, an ache there, and I keep switching up positions trying to do. And, you know, I, as we get older, we need to be conscious of our posture. You know, we need to maintain a good as posture as possible as we get older. So I'm going to get me a chair, a folding chair. I'm going to sit my little seating cushion on top of that folding chair. And I'm going to be a lot more comfortable than trying to switch positions. Let me show you all some of the positions that I sit on this couch when I'm trying to watch uh, my laptop and watching Netflix. It's 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 crazy. I'm like, okay, Anthony, we can't be doing this. And we don't know when we're going to be getting a, a different trailer. You know, come on. Come on with me. Y'all already know. Ain't no fancy editing going on here. So come on with me. I'm going to try to get y'all down right. All right. This is the first position. This is the first position that I sit in. Right here. And I have my laptop right there okay that's good and i have my laptop right here okay here's the problem with this position right here okay i'm gonna bring y'all a little bit closer and i'm gonna turn y'all around so all right here's the here's the problem with this position right here is that oh the floor is shaking is that my body has to turn at an angle to see the laptop now I can also put, and then when I get tired of this position, I'll throw my legs up on the couch, and grab my pillow, and this is the next position I move to. I sit like this for a minute. Then when that gets old, I'll put my table up, 
and then the laptop would be right here in front of me. But the problem with that is, in order for me to get any kind of comfort sitting up like this, I got to sit all the way back right here and sit up like this. Now, you might think, okay, Anthony, that sounds like that's good. It is for a minute, and then I can't just sit like this for hours. I can't. I can't sit like this for hours, you know. I feel like I feel like one of those statues at a, a museum or something, you know. And then, this is another one. I'll sit up here with my legs, my legs up like this. If I'm typing or whatever, then I have to move this because this gives me more room when I move that out the way, this part right here. Okay, the bottom line is this. This is the bottom line. Let me tell y'all what the bottom line is. The bottom line is I need a dinette set, period. I need a dinette set. All this sitting at this this angle, that angle, bent down, bent up, to the side, to the side. No, that's not good for my posture. I need a dinette set where I can sit my laptop on the table. I can sit comfortably. And most of the dinette sets or some of the dinette sets that I've seen in some of the uh, trailers that I've been looking at, they have a table that moves. You can move the table closer to you or whatever so you can you know, make sure you're sitting properly. I need a dinette set. I need a dinette set. That's, that's it. All right, so I'm going to head to Walmart and I'm going to get a fold. Mm, why are you spitting, Anthony? What's going on? Mm, that wasn't cute at all. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to... <laughs> Let me see, my dentures are in good. They nice and tight. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> excuse me for that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get me a folding chair. I figured, you know what? I put a table up to eat. I might as well put a folding chair up as well. And so I can sit comfortably. And then I'll just, you know, put my little seating cushion on the folding chair. And we'll go with that. But that's that's the that's the minimalist approach to trying to gain um some long term or longevity and comfort when sitting is to just because i know i'm going to get rid of this trailer so i'm not going to do anything to modify this trailer because i know that this trailer is on its way out the door but anywho let's head to walmart guys and get me my folding chair <music>
All right, guys, I am back from Walmart. I got my little table set up here. I have my chair. Got my chair here, my folding chair with the cushion on it. Now, I turned my table around the long way. I turn my table around the long way instead of this way where you can suppose to put your feet in between or underneath the table. But this gives me, this way gives me a little bit more room. I can still open up my fridge, get me something out the fridge if I want to while sitting down. I am now at the position that I want to be. So if I want to look out the window, I can look out the window. Don't have to do a full turn around like that and it's enough room here on the aisleway where if I wanted to leave the table and chair up while I'm cooking I can or I can just move the chair back a little bit by the door if I want the complete space right here while I'm cooking but that's not uh, nece necessary to do but I can still stand up and cook now I feel really really comfortable sitting here my back is supported and I think I can do me some binge watching now <laughs> and feel just a little bit more comfortable than what I uh, have been trying to sit on this sofa here. I'm really digging it now. I'm really digging it. All right. All right. All right. So if I wanted to completely take the chair and table up and move them out of the way, they will go right here at the end of the sofa. That's where I stored my other table. It's out of the way. It's not blocking the door. It's down there. I was thinking about getting some clips and put in here on each side and then do a little bungee cord so I don't have to move this table and chair when I'm traveling. I'll probably end up doing that until I get my next trailer. But yeah, if I want to move it out of the way, this is where it will be stored. All right, guys, I am heading down to the pool for a little bit. Uh, I put some of this uh, Picardian insect repellent on. This thing, this stuff really works. It helps keep them gnats off of me. And the gnats are in like, whoo, they crazy down at the pool. I'm also going to be taking something to drink. I might even take a little snack with me because I bought some of, let me show, let me see if I can show you guys. Ugh. Y'all hear my squeaky door? I got a WD-40 them up. I bought some of these Lunchables uh, to snack on in between meals and stuff. So I might take one of these with me. But anyway, let's head on down to the pool. I probably only stay down there about an hour. I don't like staying down there too long. So, mm, let's do that. Look guys, I forgot I had this little gel seat cushion right here. So now I sit on that and I got my gray seat cushion as the back. So that helps gives me some more support, but a softer support as opposed to just sitting directly on the back of the chair. I forgot all about I had that little gel cushion. Nice, nice. 
Okay, guys, I am back from the pool. I've been back for about an hour now, and I'm going to fix myself some dinner. It's kind of like an early dinner because I'm hungry right now, and I'll probably eat something else light uh, later on around 6 or 7 o'clock because I know that this is not going to fill me up for the rest of the day because salads never do. This is a salad from a Caesar salad with chicken from Walmart. This is about $2.57. I really like this salad, but of course, it's not enough for me. It's not enough of the dressing. Um, I meant to buy some more dressing when I went to Walmart today, but I forgot. I went strictly into Walmart, was focused on grabbing a chair, grabbing a table, and getting out of there. But uh, the cheese in these things seem to go down to the bottom, and there's a lot of cheese left at the end. But anywho... It's not enough chicken. Of course, it's not enough chicken. It's never enough chicken. <laughs> but for the price of it, I think it's really, really good. So yesterday, I made some uh, chicken thighs. I went ahead and seasoned up and uh, put some chicken thighs in a frying pan and had some uh, wild brown rice with it, along with some, um, what do I have? String beans, French-style string beans. So I saved a couple of them. I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this up so I can have some extra chicken. That chicken smells so good. We're gonna have some extra chicken. Probably don't need all of this in there. Okay, why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> May as well. May as well. Let's see if I can open this without. Making a mess. If you haven't tried these uh, salads from Walmart, they're pretty good. Comes with a little fork. Now I like to mix it up before I put anything in there. Because after it sits for a while, you know, it starts to flatten out some. Alrighty. Now I just dump everything in there. Let's put the extra chicken in there. This is a lot of extra chicken. I don't think I'm gonna put all this in here. Yeah, this is this is a lot of extra chicken. Yeah, I, I think that's enough. I have one more salad in there, so I'll eat that maybe tomorrow. Alrighty. This is too big of a chunk. I should put some more cheese in there as well. Woohoo! There we go. There we go. Then I'm going to put some pepper. And last but not least, last but not least, let's put the dressing in there.
gosh. This is definitely not enough dressing for me. But what I learned how to put this dressing on here is I spread it out as much as I can on the top and I don't, I don't mix it in. I just go in from the top. Oh, I know what else I'm missing. Hold it. Where are they? Goodness, it took me a minute to find them. I have some cherry tomatoes. Man, this is going to turn out to be a good salad now. Some cherry tomatoes. This is this is looking like a hearty a hearty salad here. I'm gonna put my dressing around. Fill in the fill in the gaps if you can. Keep that there for now. I'll do some water. And here we go. Here's my nice little bowl of salad from Walmart. All righty, yay. All right, let me move y'all down some. Uh-oh. Let's see if that's good enough. If it's not, yeah, I think that's good enough. What y'all think? I think y'all good. Y'all good. Y'all good. I'm good. All right. All right. Let's let's chow down some dinner with this salad. I should have cut my tomatoes in half because they are huge. This is pretty good.
I probably drink one of my protein shakes a little later on because I haven't drank any of them yet. Adding all that stuff to it makes this a much more hearty salad. Still rocking my white t-shirts. <laughs> Still rocking my white t-shirt. See what I can do now, y'all? <laughs> I can look out the window. I think I was the only one with clothes on down at the pool. I don't care. I'm a leader, not a follower. <laughs> one day I'll get there. One day I'll get there. Hmm. Hey right, guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. One day I'm gonna get that drone up. I hope to be able to get it up while I'm at this campground because it's, it's more of an open area than the campground that I'm going to next. So hopefully in the next couple of days I will get some, I don't know, get some, <laughs> some wanna some wanna food with it type of drone thing, but. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But this would be, this would have been a perfect day to try to get that drone up because it's nice and sunny outside. It's a little windy, but not too bad. But all right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time. You know, just an ordinary day for me here at the campground. Nothing special. Ran an errand. Uh, accomplished or completed the errand, which was to get a folding chair. I bought a smaller table so that I can have some walkway, some leadway right here, which you guys can see. I got plenty because this is probably taking up just about half. But anywho... I'll see you guys the next time.